Good morning guys, today we are at Admiralty Grove, a soon to MOP self-sustainable estate which is just 6 minutes walk away to Admiralty MRT station. So if you're interested, continue to watch. Located in District 25, Admiralty Grove is a 99-year leasehold medium-sized development of 993 units. This is part of the November 2013 BTO sales launch and its TOP in 2017, which means it will MOP this year. There's a total of 10 blocks in this cluster and 8 of which are residential blocks. Something unique about this development is the fact that they set aside one block purely for the rental market, which means it is not available for purchase. This is in the government's housing and urban plans to ensure that we live in a much more equal and inclusive community. This is also in efforts to help families living in public housing flats transition better towards home ownership. The rental unit here consists of one and two room units. There's a total of 276 one room units and 228 two room units. As for resale HDBs, the unit types ranges from two to five room standard flats. 49% of the entire development are made up of resale homes. Mentioned earlier in the video that this is a self-sustainable development. So do you actually know what it takes to be self-sustainable? So this development has its own supermarket and coffee shop on the first floor of block 693. While the upper floors were built as parking spaces and the roof was made into a garden for residents to rest and relax. And over at block 694, there's the RCC and social community facilities on the first floor as well. There are two playgrounds and plenty of fitness corners spread across the development. There's two entrances and exit points, one of them along Woodlands Drive 62 and another along Woodlands Avenue 6. There are four drop-off porches in total and linkways that will shelter you around the development. There's also two spacious precinct pavilions at Block 693E and 694E where you can host your small-scale events. I'm currently walking along the roof garden of the multi-storey car park. But before I reveal the rest of the space, let's talk about the car park itself. This is a 7-storey building, 6 of which are parking spaces and a roof garden on level 7. For drivers who own e-vehicles, there's parking lots with charging ports available as well. The name Admiralty Grove takes inspiration from the lush and green landscaping within the development. This is by far one of the most beautiful and well-maintained rooftop gardens I've ever seen in a public housing project. There are various seating areas and shelters available as well. The various flora being grown here also helps to amplify the overall space. The tall trees can also shade you from the scorching hot afternoon sun. Before we explore amenities outside of the development, let's dive into the unit distribution and floor plans. Covered earlier, there are four types of units ranging from two, three, four, and five room standard flats. There are two types of two room units. Type one is at 398 square feet and there's 72 units in total. Type 1 can be found on certain blocks such as 693B, C and 694D. If you want to opt for a slightly bigger two-room unit, go for the Type 2. With the additional 107 square feet in space, there are 180 of such units available here. The Type 2 flats can also be found on the same blocks as the Type 1. What's great about the location is that it is located at the heart of the development which means you are accessible to all the amenities. Moving on to the 3, 4 and 5 room standard flats. HDB offers both an open kitchen layout together with a kitchen partition wall for homeowners to opt for. But by default, you'll be getting the open kitchen concept. Moving on to the 3 room standard flat, it has a total size of 731 square feet and 240 of such units available. Floor plan wise, it's really straightforward with a cookie cutter layout. Moving on to the 4 room flat, it has a total floor area of 92 square meters which translates to 990 square feet. Similar to most BTO projects, there are more 4 room units in the development as compared to the rest of the units. With 333 4 room units, it makes up about 33.5% of the entire development. 
Last but not least, with the additional suggested study room, the five room units is at 1,216 square feet. There's a total of 168 five room units available in this development. Something interesting I found after going through the floor plans is that no matter what HDB type you're getting, the bomb shelter placement is right next to the entrance. Okay, I think I've covered enough about Admiralty Grove. Let's explore what's outside. Admiralty MRT is just 6 minutes walk away from this development, which means you are only one stop away from the Thomson East Coast Line via Woodlands. Since you're on the North-South Line, you will have seamless connectivity to the CBD area and most importantly, our main shopping belt which is Orchard. For other public transport options, you have quite a few bus stops outside of the development, so there's plenty of buses that will take you around the estate. Greenwood Century at Admiralty is an eco-friendly neighbourhood park located just right opposite the development. Opened back in 2010, this park serves as a pilot to test out various sustainable features in this tropical climate. In fact, this dry pond is designed to collect rainwater. This is part of the drainage network to channel water towards retention basins and provide water to the rest of the park. Another fun factor that this park has is that it houses a unique set of hippo sculptures here. Across from Admiralty Grove, Woodlands Galaxy Community Club is one of the most unique CCs I've ever seen. There's an astronomical observatory which houses a 30cm telescope, which is the second largest to open for the public. It costs half a million dollars to open and it delivers unique astronomical experiences. You can stargaze here and even spot planets like Jupiter and Saturn. There are other activities as well, such as wushu classes, dance fit classes, anytime fitness, and even brisk walking activities for the elderly. These activities can be an option for you, but it might potentially differ in schedule according to COVID restrictions. Now, if you're talking about food options, other than the eating house located within the development, you can find a food house at Woodlands Block 630, Siam Square Mukata, and Kampung Admiralty Hawker Centre. But if you want a 24-hour option, there's Kwai San Dim Sum at Prince Bis Hub. All these food galore are within 5 to 10 minutes walking distance from the development. For malls, there's Admiralty Place which is a 3 minutes walk. There's also Mega at Woodlands which is just one street away. Though it is a commercial building, but there's two shops in particular that really caught my attention. The first one being Tender Bear's Machit Tak Shop, which is a concept store serving delicious food. It really gives a whole lot of Lepa vibes here as well. There's also another shop in particular called The Reject Shop. They sell high quality luxury furniture at affordable prices. So if you want to snack some unique pieces for your home, you know where to go. For schools near Admiralty Grove, you have Greenwood Primary, Admiralty Primary and Woodlands Ring Primary. There's also plenty of preschools and daycare centres such as Maple Bear which is within 5 minutes walking distance. Republic Polytechnic is also nearby being a 7 minutes drive away. Before we end off the video, I would like to do a quick shout out of this multi-award winning development located just right outside Admiralty Station. Kampong Admiralty is the first of its kind development which integrates public housing for the elderly together with healthcare, social, communal, commercial and retail facilities. The first Facade features a modern vertical kampung concept with multi-level sky terraces for residents to enjoy. In fact, 110% of its footprint has been covered in vegetation. And the tall trees that you see here are trees that are generally discovered in the old kampung days, making it a world of fond memories. So do leave us a comment below if you want us to explore this development in depth. Thank you for watching till the end. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell button to get updates on our future videos.